All right, and happy Sunday, everyone. I am excited to share with you this project. I was working on some charms last night, and I came across this idea in my head and thought, how cute would it be to have some beaded elastic bands for your traveler's notebooks? Doesn't that look super, super pretty? I love it. So I have three different ways that you can make these. And it's not only designed for your traveler's notebooks. You can also use it for your notebooks. I'm going to show you some other ways. But let me show you first what I did here. So this one right here, it comes off. So you can see the beads come out. And you'll notice there's no knots. You don't see the knot is hidden. And I'll show you how to do that. And then it just wraps around. This is a Teresa Collins notebook. You could put it around that. It would be a cute idea if you want to gift someone a, a notebook. Um, let's take my laminated traveler's notebook since it has notebooks inside. So you get an idea what it looks like with it all filled up. How cute is that? Isn't that super cute? And mind you, there's tons, I mean tons of beads out there. So just imagine all the different ones you can make. Now this is a Webster's Pages notebook. It's a little bigger for this one because it was meant for this, but isn't that cute? Or I have this notebook, well it's a journal book my sister had given me. Since it doesn't um, have a closure, this would be a cute way to close up the book. And when you give someone one of these books, you can add a special little closure to it. Isn't that fun? I love it. I love how it turned out. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make that one. Now this one is, you can see, is connected to the Traveler's Notebook. And I have a tutorial on how to make these laminated traveler's notebooks, and I'll put that video down below. So it goes like that. And then this one is a simpler one. Again, it goes around. But if you're okay with the knot showing, this is a super quick and fast one to make. Okay? And then that just, again, goes around. And like so. I thought just thought it was so cute because I love beads. I actually used to make jewelry um, bracelets with beads and I haven't done it in a long time and I just got back into making beads because I make them for my bookmarks for my traveler's notebooks and then last night I made some charms which I'll share in another video and now I thought of this and thought how cute would this be. So let me show you how to make these. Okay, so first we'll do we'll do this one. The one that's connected to the traveler's notebook. Oh, wrong one. This one. It's connected. Okay? So I have one already here, laminated. And I made the center hole a little bit bigger. In the video tutorial, I did use just a paper piercer. This one actually used my 1 8 circle punch using the Big Bite to punch a much larger circle. Okay, and let's see, let me get. Oh, I don't need that. Okay, so let me get some elastic. So I got some elastic here. This is some 1 millimeter elastic I picked up at my local Joanne. And we're going to take some beads that I already picked out here. I'm going to use, let's see, I'll use these beads. Okay, so what you're going to do is you're just going to take your elastic, and now I, I don't pre-measure it, I just use the, a long piece. And I'm going to add my beads. So you can add as many as you want, totally up to you how many beads you want. Actually, let's add this one first. So 
I'm gonna add this bead. And I got these beads. It's a mixture of, um, I like the Blue Moon beads, and I also like the Jesse James beads. Those are my two favorites, but there are a ton of cute ones out there. And you can pick them up pretty much at any of your local craft stores. I know Michael's, Hobby Lobby, Joanne, they all carry them. Okay, so I'm just threading my beads. And I think I had this one. So I add a larger one in the center. And then I just use the smaller ones on the sides. Okay, let's add this last one, like so. Okay, so that's what you do there. And then you're going to, oh, let's take our notebook. You're going to take your thread, you're going to take the one end, place it through the hole. Uh oh, uh oh, don't come out. You're going to place it through the hole. Come on, get in there. Okay, like so. Then you're going to take the other end. Place that through the hole. So you've got something like this, so you can see it's in there. Then you're just going to wrap this guy around like so. Super cute, right? Okay. Now you're going to take him out. I pinch this right here. Just hold that right there. And then I'm going to take this end and pinch that. And then I'm going to tie my knot. So tie my knot. Okay, and then you would, obviously you would cut this off. But I'm not going to do that because I'm going I'm to unknot it. I'm going to take it apart. I'm just doing this to show the video. Okay? And then it just wraps around like so. Isn't that super cute, right? So that's how you do that. Okay? So I'm going to take this apart now. So I think this is the last of my one millimeter. So that's why I'm not cutting it. I need to buy more. Let's just take this guy apart. And you can see, you can always adjust it if you made um, mistakenly made it too loose or you want to make it um, bigger because you know depending on how many notebooks you're going to put in there so that's how you do that one so yay for that just put these beads back here okay so we did that one so let's put that one away now we're just going to make the simple one with the knot and again this is actually um, 10 inches in the elastic, I remember I measured that one. So I measured 10 inches. So this one I'm actually going to cut. This is fine. Okay, so you got your 10 inch elastic, and you're just going to, we'll use the same beads. You're just going to thread your beads through like so. Now I need to buy some more beads because I am using up all the ones that I just bought. 
Now this is something you can never have enough of, which is beads. Especially because there's just so many out there. Right. Two more. We are done. If I can get it in there. And sometimes the end, I don't know if you can see it, gets all fuzzy on the top. So I just snip that little poof at the end. And it's all brand new again. Might even in frame. Okay, come on, get in there. Okay, this one's being stubborn. There we go. Okay, now you're gonna line them up, the two ends, like so. You're just gonna tie a knot, leaving a little bit at the end, just a little bit, not too much. I can get it through. There we go. Oh, this one got away. There you go. So you're just going to leave a little bit at the end. Yeah, and then I'm just going to snip it because I don't like those little fuzzy ends there. And then this just goes around. Yay! And then I just put that little knot in the back. And that's how you do that one. Okay? Now the last one, which is this one, to hide away that knot, let's get a piece of elastic here. Oh, I'll just use this black one. And then what you're going to do is, you're going to, okay, so let's use this as a reference. I got one, two, three, four, five, six, okay, I got seven beads, just like I have here, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to start threading with the one that's going to go at the end, okay? So that will be um, this one right here, okay? So you're going to thread that one first. Oh, no, wait, take that back, back it up. You're going to add this one, the one that's next to the central one, okay? The one that's next to it. I'm going to thread that first. So I guess I'll use the same one. So we're going to put that in first, okay? Then you're going to do the second to the last one, which will be this bead. And then the last bead will be this bead. Okay, then you're going to take that same last bead, okay, and put that next to the bead. Okay, I hope this is all making sense. Alright, do the same thing, get the next one, which is this one. And then the clear one. And then your big centerpiece one. Now again, you have to find one that has a larger hole because it's, the knot is going to go inside there. So you do that one. Okay, so it's going to look like this. So let's take this guy out. Now you're going to place the beads on top of wherever you're going to wrap it around. Turn it over and then you're going to tie your knot. So I like to do a double knot. So I will double knot this. So one knot. Do the second knot, 
and then I just snip it. Just cut a little bit out. So you can see it. Okay, I'm going to take this apart. And now we're going to take the last bead. Remember, this was the last bead. We're going to bring it around. So now it looks like this. Okay, and then this guy is going to go over here and cover that knot. And there you go. Now the knot doesn't show. So now I'm going to put him back on the notebook. And there you got it. Super cute, right? So I hope you guys give this a try. This was super fun. I enjoyed making these. All you need is, again, you just need some beads. You just need some elastic. And you are good to go. It makes a cute, fun little elastic band for your Travis notebook. All right, hope you give it a try. Thanks for watching. Bye.